Again, Table 5a contains the cumulative probabilities um, for z values ranging between 0 0.00 and 3.09 up to two decimal places. So to read this table, um, the first thing you need to recognize is that the first column contains the unit digit of the z value as well as the first decimal place of the z value. And then the first row contains the second decimal place, whether it's 0, 1, 2, all the way up to 9. And then the numbers within the table over here are the cumulative probabilities. Okay. So for example, if we were interested in finding the probability that z is less than or equal to, let's say, 0 0.42, then all we need to do is find the 0 0.4 in this first column and the 0 0.02 in the first row and go down and find the point at which that play, those two row, that row and column intersect, and we would read the cumulative probability as being 0.6628. For one more example, the probability, say, of z being less than or equal to 0.57, we would find the row headed by the 0 0.5 in the first column, and the column headed by the 0 0.07 to get the 7 in the second decimal place, find the point at which that row and column intersect, and that is the probability that z is less than or equal to 0 0.57. That's 0 0.7157.